Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. So today is a what is in my iPhone video. I sometimes end up in like random YouTube channels and I'm like, oh, what's in their iPhone? I don't know, I'm just curious to see what people have in their iPhone. First, I'm gonna show you the case. This case is like everything proof. Seriously, the other day I went go-karting and a go-kart passed on top of it and nothing happened to the iPhone. And I have this other thing that's called an eye ring and I absolutely love this eye ring because it's perfect for selfies. Like you just grab it like this. Also, like if I'm working, I put it on the table and I can just tap, 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 tap like this or watch a movie or watch a video or whatever. I personally just really like it. It's super useful. So I have an iPhone 6S Plus and I have the pink one. I have 128 gigabytes, like the most that you can have. And I also have a bunch of like iCloud storage because I take a lot of pictures and a lot of videos. I do many of my vlogs on my phone. I take most of my pictures on my phone and I just really enjoy just documenting a lot of things. So my screensaver is a face of me. Okay, it's not that I'm like obsessed with myself. It's just that I like that it says Ravana because for me, it's just a constant reminder of what Ravana stands for, which is inspiration, motivation, and education on just leading a healthier lifestyle, eating more fruits and vegetables, raw vegan diet, vegan diet, but basically overall just the lifestyle because in the end it's that. It's not just a diet, it's a total lifestyle. So for me, it's just a constant reminder of, you know, a purpose that I feel that I have on this planet and it motivates me. First things first, it's the bottom ones, okay? The most important ones, calls. Um, so here are my calls and I have my favorites of people. I have my mom, my dad, I have Adan. He uh, tapes and uh, he's behind the camera right now. <laughs> and he edits my videos. So we're constantly talking like every single day. My house, so those are the people that I talk to the most on the phone. Um, my emails, that's really important for me. Uh, Safari, because Google is my best friend and Google knows everything and I love asking him just anything. You know, anything you want to know, it's like just ask Google. Messages, my text messages. Then I have my calendar just to know what day of the week it is and also just kind of keep my schedule, what I have to do during that day, whose birthday is it. So that's something that I like to check. Uh, my camera, uh, because that's very important, like at the top. I need my camera all the time and my pictures too so I can access them easily. Then I have a folder for Facebook. This is a dedicated folder for Facebook. I have my personal one, I have the messenger, and then I have my pages Facebook one, for which is like for my Ravana and English page or other pages that I have. Um, then I have this folder that's called post on these. So like post pictures or anything that I need to post. And I have iWatermark, which is this app that puts like the, the brand, the Ravana, the logo on certain pictures. Sometimes I do that on my Instagram. Then I have my Instagram and layout to, to make collages, uh, Pinterest and Twitter. And you guys can follow me at Ravana there. Okay. <laughs> my settings. Then the clock, I have some of my alarms. I also like to see what time it is in different places because I often talk to people, for example, in Mexico City. So I just like to know, like make sure what time it is, almost, even though it's like only two hours, but in other places of the world as well. I like to have that. My calculator, that's really important. Uh, weather, also I have different cities, like for example, Santa Monica, Mexico City, New York, my sister lives in New York, so, and San Diego. So those are the cities that I visit the most and I just like to always know what the weather is gonna be like. Then I have a folder for navigation. I have the maps from the iPhone and Google Maps. And I honestly uh, prefer Google Maps. Then I have iTunes Store, App Store, and then I have a folder that's for health. So it's all like my fitness apps. I have the Strava, which is an app for, I really love this app because you can log in like your run, your walk, your hike, or even if you're riding on a bicycle and it logs the distance, the speed, the rate, like how, how many, how much time per mile, 
the calories that you burn, the elevation. But the cool thing about this app is that it's a social media platform. So people can follow you, you can follow people. They give you stars and they tell you like, oh, today you ran faster than two days ago, you know? So it's pretty cool and people can give you thumbs up. You can put up pictures. I really enjoy this app and you guys can find me as Ravana. And then I have my Fitbit and Up, which these are apps just for um, pedometer that I have. Then I have my contacts, my WhatsApp, and I like it because you can share videos, pictures. It's actually easier, I feel, to share pictures through WhatsApp than through the messenger. Music, uh, so I like just any type of music, but I usually I always end up listening to like the new that's trending on iTunes. I like those songs, but I also have a specific folder for my music app. And the one that I use the most is SoundCloud. And a person that I like to listen to is my sister. Jackie Mendoza and you can see this is her profile. These are some like this is one of the songs that she really likes So this is it. It's closer. What I also like about this app is that it has different remixes from other bands Which I like as well and then hype machine and Shazam and right now you guys I'm obsessed with this song It's from Drake and it's called one dance and I can't stop listening to it. I don't know why, just I really like it. Now for my other folder, it's, it's the Christ folder. So I have my Bible in there. I have two apps from the church that I go to, The Rock here in San Diego, and then Jesus is Calling. So this app, I really like it because it's like daily inspirations. And I just like to start off the day with something inspiring and positive. And then it also has like some, um, verses from the Bible. iMovie because I edit a lot of my short Instagram clips and some of my vlogs even on the iMovie app. And then YouTube, of course, I need YouTube on there. Snapchat, uh, Snapchat, I like to have it close to the bottom. That way I can easily access it. And you guys know I'm on Snapchat like every single day. So <laughs> you guys can follow me as Ravana. And then work, so I have this um, folder for work. So it's Dropbox so that I can upload pictures or files and have them all stored there. And then Google Keep, which is like anything that I need to do. It, it's like lists, like reminders and stuff. And then notes, of course, just like anything that I think of. I, I put it in notes, although I'm starting to use Google Keep more because in Google Keep, I can organize them better. So I, if it's like a note about food, then I put it in the food folder. If it's a note about a book that I wanna buy, then I put it in that folder, you know? And then I have Bravana, my apps, of course. I have two apps. One of my apps is the Smoothie app, which is a 30-day challenge smoothie app. And it's really cool because the challenge is that for 30 days, you're gonna substitute at least one meal for a smoothie. So you guys get all of the ingredients, the method, the description. It has the protein, the fat, the carbs, the calories, and you can even add all the ingredients to a shopping list. That way when you go grocery shopping, like you'll know what ingredients to buy. You can cross them off. You can put them on your favorites list and you can even share it on social media. I also have a space where it has guides, like what blender to choose, any substitutions, etc. Both of these apps are available for Android and for iTunes, so you guys can download them there. And then I have my other app, which is the Bravana app, and this app is super cool because it has all raw vegan recipes. It's dishes, salads, juices, smoothies, soups, desserts, all kinds. And it's super easy. Like if you're trying to eat more raw foods, you guys will have all of the ingredients there, all of the method, how to do it. And all you need to do is just literally go to the grocery store and buy it because you can also add it to your shopping list, to your favorites, and it just makes life easier. And you can actually purchase both of these apps like on a bundle and you'll get a better price for them. So that's cool too. For the second page of my apps, I have Uber and Uber is like a taxi personal driver service and I love it, I use it a lot. Skype, of course, to make calls anywhere, uh, video calls, FaceTime. Also, I have my Google folder, which has Google Plus. By the way, you can find me as Ravana and Google Chrome whenever I wanna look for something. Videos, I have some movies and oh my gosh, you guys, this movie, it's called Love Story. It's so cute. I love it. it. I cry every time. It's like my favorite chick flick. <laughs> and then utilities, which is some of the apps that comes with the iPhone that I 
honestly don't use that much. And then shopping, I like Amazon, of course, because you can find literally everything on Amazon and ASOS, which is a fashion shopping page. And then I have my folder for food and drink. And there I have some apps that I like of juices, smoothies, or just vegan food and then travel. Travel, Fandango for movies, Yelp. I love Yelp. Like whenever I'm going to a restaurant or something, I like to see the reviews, the pictures, the ratings, all of that. And then Expedia for hotels or for flights, Airbnb, because Airbnb is really cool. It's like a hotel, but people rent out their houses or their apartments. And sometimes it's, it ends up being like cheaper than, than a hotel. And then Luke's guides. This is cool because it's like where whatever city in the world you are, it'll give you like cool places to go to, you know? So if you're in the city that you don't know, you're like, oh, I want to go somewhere, but I don't know where, then that app does that. And then Happy Cow. Oh my gosh, I love this app. This app is amazing. You can be in any city and you'll put like, okay, I want vegan restaurant, raw, right? And it'll search for it and it'll tell you all the raw vegan restaurants or restaurants that have raw options in your area. So it tells you within 25 miles, but you can even like search in different cities. It's amazing. It honestly always saves my life. I use it a lot. Okay, now get ready for this folder. This is my photography folder. I collect these apps. I love these editing apps because most of my pictures for Instagram, I use with my phone. Sometimes there's bad lighting and, or sometimes just like, like the color's too saturated or something, no? So I need to like, edit it. And a lot of these apps are, are seriously amazing. They make wonders. And I could even make a video on how I edit my pictures on my phone. And if you guys want that, just let me know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now my iBooks, I love audiobooks. That's like when I'm in the car, whatever, I like hearing them. And then I have a folder for other just like apps that come with the iPhone that I don't use that much uh newsstand which is for some magazines that i don't read that much honestly you know sometimes it doesn't happen to you like you download these apps and then you never use them and then they're just there on your phone you're, i have to like do a little cleanup because then those apps like they're just taking up the battery life for my phone uh find my iphone of course i have it because one time i forgot it in an uber okay i didn't notice until like an hour later i'm like Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Luckily I was in a mall. So I went to an Apple store and then I searched my phone. I talked to the Uber guy and he's like, yes, yes, I have your phone here, no worries. And he brought it to me, okay? So lucky. The GoPro app, of course, because I like using the GoPro sometimes. iWatch app. I used to have the iWatch, but I didn't use it that much. Like, so I returned it. For word style, it's this fashion app. And then I have another folder for social apps. Uh, so it's like LinkedIn, Vine, Periscope, Tumblr, Dub Smash, and you now. And you guys can follow me there at Ravana. And you now is actually really cool because it's like live streaming. So if you guys want me to ever do that, I, that would be fun. It's like, we, we could do like a recipe together. So it's like live and it's not like a recorded video. So it's pretty cool. And then I have my finance folder, which is just my, like my bank, my credit card, PayPal, Venmo. I like this app because it lets you pay people. You don't have to like take out money or anything. So you just send money to people and it arrives to their bank account. So it's pretty cool. And then Google calendars to just keep like my agenda, like, any appointments that I have or calls that I have and then just put it all there. And so that's basically it, you guys. That is what is in my iPhone. And I would love to know if you have any of the apps like I do. Really like seeing just how many things we have in common. If you like this video, like it. And also you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And I leave you all my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat, everything at Ravana. Sending you guys lots of blessings, love, light, Peace. Peace. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.